Creating variations. Why do we need them? Creating variations lets customers see all of their buying options on one page and can really increase your conversion rate. Instead of having standalone listings for each variation of the product, you can group them all together on one listing page. Now that we're on the computer, one thing that I wanted to do really quickly is just talk a little bit more about what parent and child listings actually are. Um, if you're more of an expert and you're just looking for the order of operations, uh, you can skip ahead to the next chapter. But if you are new, it's never a bad idea to kind of better understand what these um, types of listings are, what it means, because then when you're going into Seller Central, you grab the whole concept you're not just uh, you know clicking and repeating exactly what I'm doing in this video and in the future you can kind of handle these things yourself so I did make a diagram that will hopefully show up we'll see there it is okay perfect so as you can see in this case I'm selling these high heel shoes or stilettos or whatever you want to call them and then there's two child listings, so they're available in this pink and salmon, maybe I want to call it. And then also available in this blue and uh, orange. So the parent product up here is a non-buyable product used to relate the child products. Um, the parent listing will not be available visible to customers it's only going to be visible to you in seller central so think of it as the anchor um for all of your child listings it, you know you don't have to just have two you might have five or six but this is gonna kind of um like i said be your anchor so in this example um if you have two types of shoes and they have the same parent, then they're related and are considered child products. So moving on to the child listing aspect of this, just to explain it, the child product is an instance of the parent product, right? So you can have as many child products uh, as you want that are all related to one parent product. This is um again like i like to call it the anchor so each child varies in some way and as you can see in this example these are varying according to color but they can vary in uh, numerous amounts or types of ways just depending on the nature of your product and then last i'd just like to talk about the variation theme because this will kind of elaborate more on what i'm talking about so the variation theme defines how related products differ from one another um so in this example um the shoes are differing by color right so that would be the um variation i suppose and then you can also do hybrid variation themes which means that in this case um you do have the shoes that are both different colors but of course with shoes one size does not fit all you need the right shoe size so in this case you'd be using a hybrid variation theme which it'll let you select when um which you'll later see when we're going through it so what what you may want to choose then is there would be a variation that you can choose called color size so it's not only a variation in the color but you know if you're a buyer you pick the color you like then you got to say okay next i gotta pick my shoe size right so maybe there's your size six size seven then uh we want to let the customer choose that as well so now that we're on amazon seller central let's get into the nitty gritty so what i want you to do is you can either click on the catalog column and press add products or you could also go to the inventory and then click add product it really doesn't matter so let's click on that we'll be brought to this page and in this case we're going to be clicking the i'm adding a product not sold on amazon 
So this will bring you to the categories page. And the whole point of this is to give Amazon an idea of which category your product fits into. Now you can do browse and um, kind of go through different types and see if you can find the right category that your product fits in. Uh, it's worth noting that there may be categories that are locked or also this is also known as uh, being gated and gated categories are categories in which you have to get in contact with Amazon and get their approval to sell in that category. There's not an exact reason um, that's apparent, you know, to the general uh, public as to why it's gated. Amazon has its reasons. Um, you know, according to each category, there might be certain standards that you have to meet. So you would have to get in contact with them. For the most part, you can see most categories are ungated. But again, it's just worth noting if you're wondering what that little lock symbol is for. Um, in this case, what I would recommend is just searching uh, for your product. So you can just search what your product is. In this, in this example, uh, I am actually gonna go with water bottles. So when I showed you those shoes earlier, that was just one example of how to visualize. But in this case, we are gonna be doing water bottles. So I just want you guys to be aware of that because water bottles are gonna be way easier to show you how it works. Um, shoes get pretty complicated considering um, you know, there's different uh, age groups for shoes. Uh, their different sizes colors so many different variables whereas water bottles are a little easier so going forward we are doing water bottles let's just uh, keep that in mind so let's go ahead and finally search water bottles if I can spell it right um, so we'll search it and you'll see that uh, Amazon gives you a few categories that it thinks your product would fit best in now, Amazon doesn't always get this right, so that's why it gives you a few options here. Let's say you're selling a water bottle that is ideal for an office worker, and an office worker is, for whatever reason, focused on the look of their water bottle. That is uh, another fashion statement uh, that they are carrying along with them to work. But that water bottle that we're talking about right now, that office water bottle, doesn't have much functionality outside of being a water bottle. As you can see in this case, um, being recommended, this is why you always wanna check it. Because as you can see, sports and outdoors, that's already a category we don't wanna be in. And it gets deeper. Outdoor recreation, camping and hiking, hydration and filtration, our water bottle definitely does not filter anything so clearly although amazon recommended this to us it, it's not the best way to go for a product as you can see this first uh this first category recommendation is the best way to go so just be aware when you are getting um search results that you you want to read each um recommendation because like i said Amazon is great. They have really good, um, you know, search ways, ways of searching, but they don't always get it right. So let's select this uh, top one. All right. So now we are on to putting all our information in. And this is, uh, this is where the fun begins. And now we're gonna come uh, to the page where we enter all of the information. Now, if you look to the top right, you'll see the more attributes. And if you click on that, then you'll see more options will come up. And what these do is, this is gonna be your chance to give Amazon more information on what your product is about. And the more information you provide to Amazon, the better Amazon can target the right people who are most likely interested in your product. And thus, your product is going to have a better chance to sell. Because we're worried about variations in this video, I'm not going to go into it, but uh, I would definitely recommend checking that out when doing this. When looking at the vital info, um, Everything in red is going to be something that is absolutely necessary to fill in. 
If you're not sure about what to put there, then Amazon does have these question marks that can kind of help you to figure out um, the extra details. One thing I will mention here is if you are a private label, then put your company name for both the brand name and the manufacturer. So now let's head to variations. So we are under the variations tab and now we are going to pick the variations theme. And like I talked about earlier in the video, the variation theme is how your products simply vary. You know, um, do you offer multiple colors? Do you offer different types of material? Do your products have different types of patterns? You're going to pick the best variation theme that fits your product. So in this case, with us selling water bottles, we're going to actually have two variations. So this is called like a hybrid variation. Uh, it is going to vary from size, but also from color. So we're going to offer a small, medium and large uh, size in this example. And we're also going to offer three different colors in this example. So if we click size color and one less or one thing i guess uh is worth mentioning when you have a hybrid uh theme like this all this is saying in the order is which variation type or like um variation theme i guess is showing up first so in this case the size choice will be visible first to the potential customers so they'll likely choose their size first and then they'll go ahead and choose the color um, I believe you know you could do color and style whatever you want to show up first I believe you can also contact Amazon directly and if there is a variation theme that really isn't meeting your needs and doesn't describe what type of variation um, theme you would need you can contact them and they might be able to um, create a custom variation theme. But for this uh, specific example, we're gonna go with size and color. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit. Size, we're, like I said, we're gonna do small, medium, and large. And for colors, um, Let's get a little creative here. I don't know if this is creative at all, but uh, bright yellow instead of just yellow, you know. Uh, funky green, because green is really in right now, I think. And we'll do ocean blue. So next, we're gonna click add variations. Perfect. So now we'll scroll down a little bit and you can see all of the variations so there's nine variations so there's three um you know there's three color options for each size so we have you know all small options and there's three color we have the medium option there's three colors we have the large option there's three colors so i'm just going to go over this top one and it'll basically apply to all of the the rest so it's just worth showing you the top under color map you're gonna choose the color that is most relevant to your product. It is just the very basic color um, for Amazon to understand. So we're gonna click yellow. Seller SKU is for your own information, so you would enter the SKU. Product ID, you would also obviously enter, and uh, you know maybe you're doing UPC, whatever. Maybe you're doing an ASIN, whatever uh, product ID you're using. Uh, assuming you're doing FBA and um, you're selling new stuff, uh, select new. As well, enter your price. Um, most people will, uh, you know, put the same price for the same sizing necessarily, more so. But, you know, maybe you're selling something that is gray and then you have a very, like, also a black item and the black item does cost more you know just enter uh whatever your standard price is and then for quantity if you are fba which means fulfillment by amazon you don't have to enter the quantity because amazon's handling that so all you're going to do is enter zero 
if you're doing FBM, which is fulfillment by merchant, so you are fulfilling the orders, uh, Amazon isn't doing it for you, then in that case, you would want to um, enter the quantity of uh, things you have. Uh, now you're gonna scroll down, click save and finish. It's not gonna let me do that right now because um, I don't have all this information logged in, but that's what you would do once all of the information is input. After you save and finish, you're gonna um, find your way to the inventory tab and we're gonna go to manage inventory right here. When we click on manage inventory, you should see the consolidated um, parent listing uh, here on the left side under status. And so here we can see variations. What you can do is you can click this arrow and all of the variations should show up. Now, also, you're going to want to make sure that each variation has a main image. That is critical. If somebody wants to, you know, is convinced that they will buy your water bottle, but they want it in blue, but they can't see it, you know, that could be an issue. So make sure at the very least, your each one of your variations has a main image. And you can check on these main or on these child um, listings, like I said, by just clicking this arrow on the left, simple enough. So now if you're like, Nolan, I don't need to know all this other stuff. I just want to know how to add a variation to an existing listing. I got you covered. Let's rip through it. So go to your Amazon seller central kind of homepage. You're going to click inventory and then go to inventory management. What we'll then do is we will scroll all the way to the right and you'll see these little edit tags and you're going to choose obviously the one that you want to add the variation to. So in this case, you know, for this example, we'll just add the variation to this one. So we're going to click edit and this will pull up its own page. And what you can do is you'll find the variations tab. You'll go down and in this case, this one already has like a variation theme, but in the case that you don't have a variation theme because you're adding the variations, um, just scroll back earlier in the video. I talk about variation themes. Um, you know, it's just how, um, how do your products vary? Are there, you offering three different sizes, three different colors, whatever and just enter the exact same information how we did earlier in the video. So if you're unsure how to do that, then just, like I said, go back in the video, you'll understand it. But yeah, this is how you do it. It's, it's very simple uh, and you'll be able to add a variation to your existing listing. Not complicated, don't have to overthink it and you'll be good. So that's how you add variations to both new and old listings. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. We respond to everybody. If you found this video at all helpful and you are now a variation aficionado, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, if you have any ideas for future topics that you'd like to see me cover, drop it in the comments below and I might just make a video about it. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.